Thank you. People first, winners associate with winners. Thank you, distinguished guests, Ty, John, um, Reginald, and Anthony for being here. It's, it's a reflection of your culture. It's a reflection of the champions of what you do. Um, I do want to start off by thanking Anthony. We, we got a little Marine presence here, so he, he's our Marine presence. Don't want to leave him out. And certainly, you've done a great job uh, as a master of ceremonies for this event. Uh, obviously, Bill Van Cleve, a Marine, was very close to me. But I'm a, I'm a Pacific baby, as, as, as he said, born on the Pacific. My first port of entry was Honolulu, Hawaii. It's 1968. I went to school in LA and played ball in San Francisco. So I'm all in with you guys to defend this entire region that's, at, that, that's in, in place today. Um, I do really want to go back and thank uh, Admiral Davidson and many. About two or three years ago, we sat and talked about this event and talked about the emergence of how important missile defense is in the integration of our joint force to create this to compete. And this was one of the ideas that we put forward. This event was supposed to be done a year ago, and we couldn't do it. And I, and I really want to appreciate the 94th WMDC, Mark Holler, that was the weaver. He's the weaver of our joint forces around the Pacific. But he's, him and his team are behind us hosting this event uh, with you today. It's, the world is challenging. It's exciting because you've got a cauldron that's being built and it's going to force you to become great. And the near peer competitor of China is that cauldron competitor that's going to make us better than we are. And as John Hyten, General John Hyten stated on deterrence, we have to inflict cost, we have to deny and we have to communicate those two things. And we have no question the world's best inflictor of pain if we had to go that route. But we don't have our denial where it should be. So in this world that on the fringes in regional spots around the world, that's being tested on us. And we have to be able to deny that part of this new deterrent. And that's where the focus has got to come from what we need to do. And it's got to be a joint, and it's got to be an allied capability that can be put together. And you're the pillars here. Those four services are the pillars of creating that capability. But if I look at my football terms, I played on some prolific offenses that can score all the time. And if you can look at the Super Bowl that just passed over and how prolific the Kansas City offense was, but it was the defense that wins the games. And the defense can handle all sorts of different types of weapons and being able to negate that. And what we all want to do is make them punt. It's about punting. And it's about that deterrent to give the ball back to our offense. And I think we're at a stage right now where we're very similar to post-World War II, where we have a new service that's coming to play, where we have a flat budget, where we have a new weapon. Back then it was a V1. Today it's a hypersonic. So we got to step back and relook at our roles and responsibilities because we got to play as a team. You may be able to get away having a DB do pass rush against a lesser opponent. You can't play that way against a great opponent. You're going to have to define your roles, whether it's stopping the run, playing deep, and get that more efficient and more capable and bring it all together. It's exciting because your theater, not, not UCOM, not CENCOM, your theater is going to lead this movement. 
And Guam is certainly one of the spots that we're going to combine this capability together across the joint force to create this new architecture that's going to give us denial. And it's going to lead our other AORs in that capability. So you are on the forefront in the Pacific Defense Initiative, Congress, it's not a partisan issue. They're all in on this. And they have to have leadership. And character matters, leadership matters. And these five represent that type of character and leadership. And you have to build on that. And you have to come together. It's about trust, right? That's the single biggest thing to, that we have to accomplish between each other. Because if you can trust each other, you communicate. You play for each other. And we got to do it with our allies. And I congratulate the pick. I mean, you were at four countries last, last time I was here. Now you're at 11. And I really think next year, when we have our five missile defenders up here, we should virtual at least four or five of those pick allies to be part of this team, because they need to be recognized as well. In closing, you're, this is a team, and uh, so wonderful that your state, the state of Hawaii, is behind you. Uh, Senator President Ron Kochi has got his state senate to give each one of you guys a certificate. They're part of our team. So I wanted to pass that on to you. I want to pass on the excitement that I have for each one of you in creating that cauldron to win. It's exciting. And it's going to be great. And you're going to win. So thank you very much for making this event happen and setting that match, that flame of that cauldron that we're going to win on. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one team, one fight right here. Give them a round of applause. And now we'll close with a grateful mahalo nui loa to you all and a hui ho to see you again next year for the next 2021 Air and Missile Defender of the Year ceremony that will happen at Indo-Pacific Command. And next time, let's hope it's without masks. God bless you. Take care.